far off his best is he, do you think, Kevin De Bruyne right now? He's getting better by far. Getting better. Has he got a long way to go? I don't think so. He played, he played exceptional well today. Exceptional. Is it fair to say that when Kevin De Bruyne is in your team and playing his best, Manchester City are, are the best this way? Kevin is <laughs> six years together. So what we have done these years uh, when he was fit, he has something unique in the world. So we know it. So Kevin is an exceptional player. So we know it. So he play. He has struggled in the beginning of the season and now is um, much, much better. The game of the Leeds was really good and today played really, really good all game. So, yeah. He's is a fighter and a, a guy who create goals, assists. And we know it. But the other time, in this period, unfortunately, was injured some seasons for a long time and we could survive. So we try to everyone be involved and be part of that. There's no nice things Nice things to, to feel you are part of that in the way we're going to play. And, and Kevin is one of them, absolutely. Um, and when you've got a side like Brentford, what have you made to them this season? New voice to the Premier League, perhaps a different approach of how they recruit players, how they find players, but they, they seem to have adapted quite well. well. I don't understand that question. Brentford, Brentford yeah. in the Premier League, yeah. Uh, he made an incredible start of the season. He's doing really well. And... Uh, I saw the games against Chelsea, like, wow, how they lost, but they were incredible. They draw against Liverpool. Uh, they beat Arsenal. So, we said, yeah, top team. We know it, and we're going to prepare, seeing how is the quality of our player right now to try to do it. Mike, Jake Robson. Hi, Pat. Will you be watching the game against Brentford later? Yeah. And you expect to make a, uh, quite a few changes then, as you were saying, you didn't ma manage to make any today like you would have liked. Uh, Brentford is going to make changes against us? You, are you going to make changes in the uh, team? I, I don't know, no, no. Tomorrow we'll see because with this situation with the COVID, you arrived there and said, oh, would this player, ha you know, cannot play or this is injured or this. So in this period, it's normally as we're going to come back tomorrow, recovery, the day before the game. We're going to travel to London uh, the day of the game. We are going to see in that moment, the day of the game. Now it's time to see more, you know, more attention, the, the quality of the brain, what they have. And after we're going to take a decision. Uh, right now, I don't know. Jamie. Hi Pep, you've got Brentford and Arsenal to come very soon and then January's looking a lot easier for fixtures. Is the aim just to get through these two games and then you can maybe rest up a bit more? Well, after Arsenal game, we have long weeks, yeah, but now we have, you know, 29 and first, two away fixtures against absolutely difficult, tough opponents, but yeah, the Premier League is like this, like that is the most difficult and most satisfaction competition where you are able to win it because you play for everyone. Um, you play against all the big teams and the different, completely a tough circumstances and you have to solve it. And that's why yeah, will be no exception in the next two games. Um, hi, Pep. Um, because of the, the COVID protocols, we're in a situation now where some teams are playing an awful lot of games or the other clubs are having games postponed. Um, I was just wondering how you feel about that. Obviously, Brentford have had a couple of games postponed. Your team, though, has had to play all the way through. I don't know. We follow the structure, the, the, you know, the protocols. Uh, now we are struggling lately about, about this issue with all the clubs. Look today, the championship, I think, just played two games. The other postponed, postponed in League One, the same. Last week, do how many fixtures was postponed here in the Premier League. So it's day by day. Hopefully, we can be solidated, don't don't have you know more cases. So these kind of things happen. So so we are there. Unfortunately, it's here. So now we could have played all the games. So hopefully we can do it in the future, but at the end we don't know. Hi Pep. Um, do you know when Riyad Maris is going to be going to the African nations yet? Have you got a date for that? 
I think it's January, no? Early January, I think they have to travel to to there. Yeah, yeah. I think these this days, yeah. And how much of a miss will he be, Pat, when he goes? Because he's top scorer at the moment, I think. Yeah, of course. I miss all the players. Like Kai, like John, like Riyad when he will not be here. Like uh, Kevin was injured for a long time. When we wait him and wait him, when he's not in the best condition, we wait him to come back in his best. So, yeah, I need all of them.